the calls. You'll eventually get the 20% back. That Silver Connect card is going to pay her co-payments. Remicade, I believe, is an injectable. And her hospitalization co-payments. And tell them to turn his Part B on. All right, so the, the ladies are in the studio are going to discuss the collaboration between Brass and the Mattatuck Museum. Go ahead, take it over, ladies. So over the last couple months at all of our different senior centers here in the city, we have really boasted our art program. Uh, we've been doing painting and all different forms of art as well, like quilting and knitting, things that some don't consider art but really are beautiful pieces. And uh, we've been collecting those over the last couple months uh, with the help of great instructors that we have, like Lisa Lewis, Deneen Datcher, Gloria Howell, Rita. They've really been very pivotal to getting this art show together. So we've gotten a lot of pieces, and uh, Stephanie has been working closely with me. And uh, we are very excited to have these pieces on display in the community gallery at the Mattatuck Museum. So we encourage people in the community to come on down. Um, it'll be on exhibit from May 9th to June 14th. The it Let's opens see. May 13th. Oh, May 13th. Okay, so me. hold on. Let's go to those dates. May 9th is a no-go. It's May 13th. May 13th. May 13th. May 13th through? June 7th. And this is local senior yes. artists? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is right up my alley. This is one of the programs Stephanie and I tried to get off the ground originally, where we were going to have seniors... Because there's talent out there, and you never know someone's past until you actually speak with them. And, um, yeah, this is sweet. So the collaboration, obviously, is the senior center, who has the draw, obviously, for right. the seniors, mm -hmm. and the museum, which is the avenue to present your art. Absolutely. No wonder you wanted to be on the show. This is right up our alley. All right, the seniors, how... I think um, when I spoke to Lisa, there was a certain limit. Only the a number of people could sign up, correct? Yeah, you know, we have to limit it off because it could be a little overwhelming for an instructor if you have, you know, 50 or so people. But um, we try to give everyone a fair chance. It's funny, people who had never touched a paintbrush or a sketch pad or anything before, you put something like that in their hands and you have someone like Lisa who's able to really work with them one-on-one. -on -one. We've been able to captivate some beautiful art. It's been breathtaking to look at some of these pieces. People who said, wow, I didn't even know that I had this kind of talent. I guess it took a lifetime to formulate it. Now, usually I need a couple glasses of wine to get that. Me too. Of me. <laughs> I know there was a certain number that um, she was actually nervous before. One of your um, fellow brass members, um, Alexis Rotella, uh, informed me. And she said, you know, we're considering having Lisa. Lisa went to School of Visual Arts in New York City. She's a fabulous artist. Um, Unfortunately, due to a loss in her family, she got derailed. But you never lose the creativity. So it's nice that she has an avenue now to bring it out. And in her hometown, home city, I guess. But this is a small town, this awesome Waterbury. All right, keep going, ladies. Yeah, so we have about 20 pieces that we've gathered so far over the last couple months. And uh, we're hoping that we'll get a few more before okay. our, our kickoff. I've seen a few of the works. I've seen some. And we're really looking forward to hosting the exhibition all right, so now, um, what is the goal for the senior that can't drive, like, unfortunately, my father right now? Um, are we going to have a bus that picks them up at the senior center and takes them to the museum and buses them back, or should I be working on that? No, we do. We have transportation. Oh, yep. star. Yep. Of course we do. We do We're actually sure. having a, a meet and greet event with all of the artists on May 13th from 11 to 1. Uh, we'll be having uh, Sam McWilliams, who's a wonderful piano player, provide us with some nice ambiance of music behind the scenes. And uh, we'll be having hors d'oeuvres and making it a really nice event to come out and celebrate the lives of our seniors. And this comes at a great time because May is Older Americans Month. So this is a great way to celebrate that. Okay, so we're going to, it's um, 122. We're going to take a commercial break. We have a song. Um, a beautiful Van Morrison song that we all agreed on. We're probably going to have a Beatles song later in the show if we have enough time. We'll be back after we plug the sponsors. Talk to you soon. Okay, so now in rehearsal, the ladies and I were speaking about bringing resources to action to serve seniors. Myra is the coordinator, I believe, the brass coordinator, correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. Um, this was your Y Power um, project, you, you and the ladies. I know it was Heather, Alexis, yourself, and another woman. 
that invented this, correct? Wasn't this like your Y Power project? You know, I'd love to take credit for this because it is such a great thing, but uh, no, I really, I can't take credit for that. Um, this really all started brass. It was a meeting that was called between like new opportunities in the Western Connecticut Area Agency on Aging, okay. the Connecticut Community Foundation, and please thank you so much to them because they're a huge supporter of oh, not only all of our things, but the Big Mediterranean. Things. Mm-hmm. Paula and, Van Ness and her team are yeah, incredible people. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and don't forget Yet we will have um, Give Local. I think that's May 8th, or um, I've gotten the emails, but I definitely will be giving local. All right, so what was that um, that function you guys, you, all you girls did for, was it Y Power? Uh, no. It no. was some collaboration. That, uh, there was another woman in the studio when you were in here last time, and it was something you were all working on, trying to get um, covered. It was like a project you were all working on. Hey, there. Wow, you're really testing my memory. All right, well, we'll, we'll, you know, it's been so difficult because we've done so many wonderful programs with the seniors in there. Do area, the seniors so. know about this? They're obviously been informed at the senior center. You know, it's funny. They Every day that I see them, they are always thanking me and thanking Sweet. all of us for everything that we do and all the hard work that we put into enriching their lives. So now, does this... This work out to two full time jobs for you? You know, it is feels one that way. Doctor Gatling's new opportunities and one with brass, or is it seamless? You know what? When I think when you're doing something that you really enjoy, you don't even think about all the hours that you're putting in. I'm actually only a part time employee. Where? Um, I work technically for new opportunities, though I'm given this grant through Connecticut Community Foundation uh, for this brass project. But yeah, I'm a part time employee. I work part time doing this, part time at Waterbury Hospital. Working on my degree and a mom of three, so I'm wearing a lot of different hats, but I smyle when I'm doing it, so Incredible. it's good. Incredible. Oh, it, Myra's been wonderful to work with. Good. That's what I'm glad to hear. Um, okay, so it's obviously acrylic. Um, do they do it on the floor like Jackson Pollock, or are they doing it on easels like the traditional artists? You know, most of them are doing it on, like, tabletop easels. The floor is usually not their friend when you're uh, in your 80s. But, uh, <laughs> you can't get up. <laughs> you can't get up. I know I'm having a hard time getting up lately. But, uh, yeah, so most of them are doing it in easels. But, you know, when it's a nice day outside, we go outside and paint, and we're inspired by things in nature. So um, one of our artists that I actually forgot to mention, and it just came to my mind now, is Miss Lucille Sewell. She is 88 years old. And uh, she is an art instructor at Mount Olive Senior Center uh, over on Pearl Street. And of course. The work that she's doing with those seniors is fabulous. And I thank her all the time. She won't take any money from me. I have to beg her just to let me buy her supplies. And uh, she says she's doing it because not only is it keeping the seniors going, but it's keeping herself going, too. So oh, no. Art thank is, you, Miss Lucille. It's definitely a great outlet for whatever you have in your mind and you want to convey it. Getting a little rowdy in the hallway over there. Um, okay, so. Art tends to stir that kind of excitement up in a lot of people. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they're talking about. <laughs>